Many are called, but only a few are chosen. I've heard this saying so many times, and today I want to break it down and explain to you from my perspective on what I think and what I have to say about this saying. Through my experiences in life, I see that God has many of us on this earth to fulfill our purpose. But only a few of us are chosen to complete the task. And the reason is because many people are unusable. I bet you're wondering what do you mean by unusable? See, certain people in this world can't be used because they overlook the bigger picture. See, instead of looking at the overall meaning, the overall purpose, they look at the most minor detail and they get stuck at that one detail and they never go past the overall picture. I call that uncompleted canvas. You know, when you have a blank canvas and you start painting and then you stop. Because that one detail you painted you don't like. Instead of just allowing the energy to flow within you and be, we most of people just stop because of that one detail. See, never overlook the bigger picture. Always try to understand the whispers of life. Messages from God comes from all types of ways. It might come from a person. It might come from a television. It might come from just a thought. It might come from whatever. However one receives thy message is how it is received. But the reason a lot of people are called but only a few are chosen is because those few that are chosen are willing to release those bindage of themselves and allow God to be the guidance. See, when I came on here the other day and I explained to you how less is more, that includes a lot of things. Less talking sometimes too. Less action sometimes as well. See, a lot of individual in this world are so fixated on perfection and how something is supposed to be when they don't know how to just be. There is no perfect way. It's the overall message. Did you get the message? Did you understand the concept? Did you understand what was given upon you? See, that is why only a few are chosen. Because those few that are chosen are willing to let go that controlling aspect of I need to correct or be correct. I'm not looking for perfection. I know to many I might look perfect, might seem perfect, but I'm just me. I'm human like most people on this earth. And I just want to be used as a vessel, as a messenger, as a person who can be relatable to others to give on to wisdom and guidance that God has given on to me. If you get the message, God bless you. If you don't get the message, God bless you. Regardless of the fact is many are called, but only a few are chosen. And that is the reason why, because those people who are called, their cup is too full. They don't will not allow God to pour more into those cup. But those few that are chosen, they're coming with an empty cup and saying, God, please use me. Fill up my cup with your wisdom, your knowledge. See, I'm not asking for materialistic things. God has given me everything anyone in this world can ever imagine. God has given it to me. God has given me good health. He has given me a loving heart. He has given me a sound mind. He has given me things that build character. 
When I talk to my God, I don't ask God, can you please give me the money? Can you please give me home? Can you please give me relationship? No, no, no. I ask God, can you bring me closer to you? Can you allow me to be used by you? Can you allow me to fulfill my purpose where I was sent here to do something? Because I'm sorry, many of y'all might wake up every single day and do a nine to five job. And you work for somebody and you give all your time to somebody. That's probably what you want to do. But I know in life there's way more that is my fulfilling for me to go do. I'm not meant to give my time to someone's clock. I'm meant to do amazing things. I'm meant to move mountains. I'm meant to change lives. I'm meant to uplift others. I'm meant to speak. I am here and I am now. And this is who I am. And I shall fulfill my purpose. And that is why many are called and a few are chosen. Because many that are called, they do not know how to receive. They're too busy standing in their own way. And the ones that are chosen, those are the ones who are saying, hey, I'm coming as I am. No one's perfect, but please use me because I am here. I'm not looking for perfection. I'm not trying to be perfect. I'm trying to be usable. Fill my cup with your wisdom, your knowledge, and your strength. And whatever you need me to do, I shall do with no question asked, God, because I am present. So I say unto you today, God bless you. God loves you. And tr try to be usable. And the one step to be usable is by getting at your own way. That perfection that we all try to seek, try to be the way we society looks is not God. Be you in your own form, however that is, and allow God to use you to help others in whatever way that is. It can be through talking. It could be physical help. It can be whatever help God wants you to be used because each one of us is different. I cannot tell you what your purpose is, but I know what my purpose is. So you should go find out what your purpose is. Because I'm going to fulfill my purpose. Regardless, no man or no woman shall stand in my way. And no weapons formed against me will ever prosper. Because everything I touch turns to gold. I will fulfill my purpose because I am a child of God. So I want to thank you for listening today. And I want you to thank God for waking you up today. Thank God for giving you an opportunity today because he gave me an opportunity. He woke me up today as well. And that's all that I need for me to be happy. I don't need what other people need. The moment I wake up and my eyes are open, oh, thank you, God. You've fulfilled another day for me to give another part of my doing to give on to you, God. So I am more than grateful. You know what I'm saying? And if you are in a space in your life where you're not where you want to be, talk to God. Involve God. Because most of the time, a lot of people don't do that. They don't. They think that I, 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 I will change it. But that's where they're going wrong. God is the only one who has a saying and doing over our lives. God is the only one that can allow you to cut through red tape or red bow, however they like to say it. At the end of the day, that is the only individual who have speaking over any one of our lives. No man, no woman, no thing. So I want to thank you for listening, checking in and if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget, God loves you. Comment down below that you love God as well. Because everything is a test. See how we can go on these other channels and music videos and 
comment oh my god you're so awesome but i ask you guys to comment down below i love god barely anybody what if this was a test and god himself is standing to see who's gonna follow who's gonna listen would you pass or would you be failing that's the question if you woke up this morning and you listen you got a chance to listen to this uh, um this audio give god's praise let God know you're present. Everything is being monitored. If you know you have God in your heart and you have no shame to say, I love God, let it be known. Have a wonderful day. Bye.